stupid, 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 orange, stupid, 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 orange, stupid, 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 orange, orange in a nutshell, stupid orange. Boys, it's a half shell, not a nutshell. You sound stupid. Hey, Orange, we're getting close to the train tracks, and I hear a train coming. You want to go see it? Is there anything else we can do besides sea trains? I'm getting tired of trains. Let's go do something else, you big sea cow. <laughs> Whatever. Albert and Lydia boys, if you're gonna watch a train, why don't you put your big head under the gate so I can watch the gate smash you in the head again? <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you let the gate hit you in the head this time? Idiot boys. My head is too small. Your head is huge. The game will miss your head when it comes down on top of it. <laughs> oh, really? All right, I'll show you what it's like to get hit in the head with a gate. Come on. But Lydia boys, you had better not make that gate hit me in the head. I'm telling you right now, or Kama's going to get you. You asked for it. I'm an idiot boys. You're going to ask for it when you go to sleep tonight in bed. You'll see. <laughs> Orange, you want to get hit in the head now? Yeah, all right, come on. Millennium! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> How did that feel, Orange? How did that feel? You like it? Yeah! Oh, you're such a bad idiot. Look at those kids over there laughing at you. All right, Crocky, let's sit down and take a break. Where are we? Here, sit right here. Who are you talking to? That thing is a rubber duck. That don't talk. What are you, stupid? Huh? Did you just say something? Yes, I did. I am talking to you. Hey, take me back to the pond with the other ducks or a bathtub full of bubbles where I belong. <laughs> oh, hell no. You're a statue. You ain't supposed to be talking. How do you do that? I talk just like you, boy. The only thing is, I don't flap my gums like you. Oh, hell no. Cracky, let's get the hell out of here. This guy's a fruitcake. Hey, watch your hand, boy. That one trouble man is gonna land up in the loony bin one day. What is Plant City becoming? I can't believe I had to babysit you from her that one. What was I thinking? Listen here, Moonshine. I ain't taking any of your crap while crazy redneck woman's not around. Oh, shut the hell up, Harry. I don't put up with that. Hey, you want a lick of my ice cream cone? Did you say something? Huh. That guy just called you a dummy. Now I know I'm not blind. I can see the same thing he's looking at. You dummy. I ain't no dummy. You're the dummy. You're the one standing there motionless. Hey, Moonshine. You know how I can tell you're both dummies? Because you all look alike. Oh, Perry, shut the hell up. Yeah, I called you a dummy, buddy. You keep licking on that ice cream, I don't see nothing on your tongue. 
Maybe there's no ice cream on his tongue because he's saving up some for me to lick on. Oh, Perry, you want some ice cream? Here, how about I just stick you right there? Huh. Hey, Moonshine, where the hell do you think you're going? Don't leave me here with this dummy. Oh, shut up, Perry. Redneck woman can have you. Redneck woman ain't having me. She gonna be having you. Bye. Ah, uh, I didn't want to hang out with him anyway. His breath smelled of alcohol. Wow, what a nice day here in Florida. Watch out! Look who's walking down the sidewalk, the black city! What orange? Oh no, orange. No, don't start in again, please. Oh my god. Oh no, it's that sour lemon again. What's the chances of that? I'll give you sour lemon. You wanna see my lemons? You shark looking jaw tooth! Orange, stop it! So damn rude! How do I keep running into all you fruits? Hey, buddy, I ain't no fruit. This is a fruit. This is a fruit cake. But then, if I'm a fruit cake, you're a fruit loop, and here's fruiting pebbles. <laughs> Whatever you sour lemon. I saw you sour lemon. Give me a glass. I'll give you some lemonade. I got some fresh squeeze for you, you shark licking jaw tooth. Catch me outside, fruit. I would want to see you on the other side. You might scare the heck out of me like being in a cornfield. What a scare. Bye bye. See you later. Come on, Orange. I'm gonna take a rest right here. I'm tired. Oh, Piglet, you're always tired. No, shut up. Shut up. Hey, don't tell that apple to shut up again in my presence. Did you just say something? Piglet, I didn't say a damn thing. That guy next to me spoke to you. Wow. She looks like she just stole some candy from the candy store. The way she's looking around, she's probably looking out for the popo to come and get her. Are you talking to me? How are you talking? I thought you were a statue. You should be talking. Piglet, come on. Let's get out of here. This thing is giving me the creeps. That's right. Sit there being scared with that Harley Quinn shirt on the doors. Well, hell with this. We're getting the heck out of here, Apple. Let's go. Bye. Oh, boy. I am so glad that link was gone. Oh, well. I guess it's time to go back to work again. Oh, but then of course, not train tracks again. Come on, I want to see something different. Let's go. All right, Orange, let's go take a walk around and see what's going on here in Plant City, okay? Oh, what's this coming up ahead? Every video boys, watch out up ahead. It looks like that lady has to use the bathroom real bad. She has to pee. What, Orange? Millennium boys, who is this lady here holding her pee in? <laughs> oh, it's Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, out the linear force. Why don't you go up there and give us some help? She either has to peer or she wants a big kiss from you. Whatever. Millennium Force, are you gonna just stand there or watch this lady in trouble? I'm telling you, she needs your help. If you're not gonna help her, I will. She needs to go potty. Look at the way she's bent over holding herself. She must have to go pee. Come on, Millennium Force, task her. 
No, Orange, you can't do that. Hey, big boy, let the Orange do what he wants to do. I like him. Did you just say something? Yeah, big boy, I am talking to you. Give Marilyn a big, wet kiss. Oh, wow. Now a talking orange and a talking with Marilyn Monroe statue. Well, I'm glad at least somebody knows who I am. Orange, where did you go? Oh, let Orange go where all men have been before, just like President John Kennedy. I've been sitting here for us. I think I found the problem. Woohoo! You can see the view from down here, Millennium Force. Orange, get out of there. You're not supposed to be down there looking up. Oh, shut up, fat man. Orange is just making a lady feel like a lady. Whatever, Marilyn. I didn't like you anyway. Oh, Marilyn. Millennium boys might not like you, but I sure do. You got some pretty nice... Get out of here! Oh, oh. Wait till I get a hold of you, Orange. I wonder what he's gonna do with that orange. He's so nasty. Oh, but in your voice, you kick me one more time and I'll see you that you get kicked in Come the on, nuts. Orange. Let's get out of here. Oh, but in your voice, what's wrong? You didn't get a date with Madeline Moreau? What's the matter? You're too big for her? <laughs> Whatever, Orange. Shut up. For us, as me and Madeline Moreau would say, you're so stupid. Big boy, I am talking to you. Give Marilyn a big wet kiss. <laughs>